today i will give you 10 tips 10 tips for making your english fluency within a short period of time in your communication very confident 10 tips i will be giving but 10 tips are 10 projects that means you have to work by on your on your on by on your uh, that means you have to work on that it is not a vocabulary that you have to learn and on you have to work by your hand 10 tips i will be giving if you are committed to yourself if you are promised with yourself to learn this fluency within a month then it's your it's your uh, golden opportunity to work on 10 tips so let's start with number one 10 tips of fluency in english please write down and all of you will tell me some of you will tell me which work you will be doing which what are the tips what are the tips you will be using tomorrow there is holiday okay sunday there is no class tomorrow there is holiday okay. yeah okay okay number 1 10 tips number 1 is first one is idioms 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 what were idioms i d i o m s idioms i d o m s i d i o m s idioms i d i o m s idioms idioms do not don't you know idioms what does it mean some proverb will be there no ma'am Proverb means a piece of cake, then elephant in the room, then uh, uh, call it a day. These things, these words are, these words are called idioms. These are, uh, these are the uh, words which you have to know the meaning and you have to know the correct, correct, uh, mean, uh, correct use of uh, these idioms in the sentence. Okay. Idioms. Oblique you give right idioms. Oblique you give right idioms. Right means R-I-G-H-T. Right. Right idioms. What do you mean by idioms and uh, correct idioms and right idioms? Can you tell me anything about that? Correct idioms means you are learning some idioms and all and uh, from the book or from the sentence or from the newspaper, anything else and you are knowing it. Correct idioms. What will be the correct idioms? And right idioms means you are making a sentence with one idiom but when you are uh, noticing that this idioms is not matching with this sentence, then you are replacing this idioms and you are writing you are writing a correct idioms in the sentence that is called right idioms you you are doing correction in the your sentence and making exact idioms in the sentence writing exact idioms in the sentence that is called right idioms okay do you have confusion are you confused or are you clear Okay, very good, very good. Everybody clear? Ma'am, about... can you tell them again, ma'am, please? Uh, okay, who told clear? Please let him. Uh, no, who told clear? I think Shikha. Hello? Ma'am, Shikha. Yeah, Shikha, yeah, please, yeah. please let him know again. Yeah, ma'am, I said. Yeah, yeah, you tell, uh, you make him understand what is correct idiom and what is right idiom. Collect idiom means already they are in the sentence, in the book. You are knowing it. Okay. And write idioms means you have a made, you have made a sentence with the idiom. But you are noticing that this sentence is not matching with this idiom. You are just cutting it 
and you are writing exactly what the meaning of the exactly the idiom what is uh, what is ma matching in the sentence for example it is to speak english to speak in english it is a very quality day for me so it is not a sentence quality day it will be to speak in english is a very piece of cake is a piece of cake for me so you have noticed that this is call it a day means to stop isn't it but call it a day means to stop or wait but here the sentence is written but the idioms are not matching with the sentence you are cutting it and you are correcting it to speak in english is a very piece of cake for me is a piece of cake for me so did you understand the example Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Harshit, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Harshit. No, I'm not properly, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Archana, ma'am, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. I understand. Archana, ma'am, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, Harshit, make her understand. Karan, you also please listen to him. Ma'am, two types of idioms. First, correct idioms and second is right idiom. Correct idioms means uh, we have a already a sentence. Uh, when sentence, uh, uh, sentence will be right uh, like uh, sentence uh, in a book or a good paper and sentence already a sentence sent, it means sentence will write but in another side write idioms means sentence is not in the proper way like uh, and sentence is not completed in the right idioms like a piece of cake some some in hot water that that types of sentences of right idiom. That means, call it a day. For example, call it a day. Call it a day means to stop the, to stop or wait. Isn't it? So, what will be the sentence? I, uh, to speak English, to speak English for me is call it a day. What you have written? Call it a day means stop. But here you have written, to call it a day to stop so it is not a meaning it is not a meaning you have to write to speak english for me is a piece of cake so what will be the exact idiom according to the sentence that is right idiom in the sentence to speak english uh, for me is easy that means is uh, what will be what will what idiom will be used call it a day or uh, this one piece of cake which one in this sentence piece of cake will be there it is the answer because piece of cake means means very easy okay did you understand now Okay, ma'am. Karan, did you understand? Call it a day means stop. Hai. Or yes, piece of cake means very easy. So, jab maine kaha ki to speak English is a very, uh, to speak, mere liye speak English mein speak karna easy hai. So, easy ke liye call it a day hoga ya? पीस ऑफ केक होगा वो आपको समझ कर लिखना है इन सेंटेंस में और वही है राइट इडियम दैट इज कॉल्ड राइट इडियम नाउ डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड अभी आपको समझ में आया या आप भी नहीं समझे आप सेंटेंस इज नॉट मीनिंगफुल अभी आपको समझ में आया और नहीं समझे आप करण आप बोलो यस Yes, और करण को क्या yes, हुआ करण डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड 
हेलो ओके सो दैट इज द मीनिंग नेक्स्ट नंबर टू यू राइट नंबर वन इडियम्स करेक्ट इडियम्स एंड राइट इडियम्स एंड नंबर टू इज वर्ड्स वर्क ऑन योर वर्ड्स वर्क ऑन योर वर्ड्स वर्क ऑन योर वर्ड्स डब्ल्यू ओ आर के वर्क ओ एन ऑन वाई ओ यू आर योर words work on your words w o r k work work on your word w o r d s words work on your work on your words means any a word you cannot may uh, write more or three times four times like that sometimes you have to give uh, sometimes you have to change the words not the meaning but the words okay any a any t any example means uh, you are coming here so uh, regularly no, please recapitulate of any a sentence means sentence means no no work on your words no, no, how we can define this one i am telling work on your words yeah that means vocabulary you have you should have vocabulary you should have the you should master on vocabulary okay okay did you understand now you should master on your vocabulary okay yes,